Good morning everyone from Japan, Kobe, Alan Gibson of J Soccer Magazine wishing you a wonderful day wherever you happen to be. Uh, Japan beat Azerbaijan 2-0 last night and I pulled an all-nighter pretty much. Uh, as you can see I'm unscripted and unshaven. And here to give you a rundown on J Soccer Magazine issue 4 and well, what do you think of the shirts? Mia Ichi made his debut last night along with uh, Takahashi and Sakai. And oh well there was no number 7 last night. Honda was noticeably wearing the number four, not the number seven, because, of course, Endo will return. The Olympic shirt for London is there on the wall, and that's another number 11 for the away shirt. But I digress. Issue four. I think that's going to be the picture for the cover. What do you think? Hmm? Not bad? Kiyotaki story and lots of updates. Uh, in case you missed it, of course, we have J Soccer Magazine, issue one. J Soccer Magazine, issue two. J Soccer Magazine issue 3 and yes as I said I'm expecting this to be the base picture for issue 4 so what will issue 4 have you say uh, well what you going to include well yes Kiyotaki on the front and a look at the Cereso Osaka boys who are in London or hopefully will be in London for the Olympics Ogihara and Yamaguchi some nice pictures from them taken by me at Nagai Stadium exclusive we have uh, a nice little get-up from uh, Makino uh, with our Reds in the national team uniform, a pull-out poster for you. We of course have Ryo Miyaichi, a nice picture from Bolton Wanderers and a little uh, mention by Joe Broadfoot on his game in Millwall when he played at Millwall, that was quite fun. We have the Gamba Osaka coaching woes story, a look at Matsunami, is he going to turn the team around? Gamba Osaka, five points adrift of safety already with third of the season gone. Uh -huh. Who knows? Hidetoshi Wakui. Who? I hear you say. Well, we cover the obscure Japanese footballers around the world. For example, in the last issue, we covered Hiroshi Ibusuki. Never heard of him. He's in too long with the under-23 team. Hey, so what next for Wakui-san? Who knows? Full, full stream? Who knows? Uh, we have a stadium guide. Barry Valder has written a book on stadiums of Japan, and we have four-page special on the stadiums of Japan. We have some Japan against Iceland national team exclusive pictures taken by J Soccer Magazine photographer. We have a look at the Nadeshiko team in the Algarve and in the Kirin Cup and perhaps if all goes to plan a look ahead to the Olympics for them. Will they repeat their World Cup win? Also Ainak Kobe, some lovely pictures of Ainak Kobe which includes Sawa, Ono, Kyokawa and lots of the international ladies. So that should be good. We have an interview with J Soccer legend. Kunishige Kamamoto was in this very office, just, just over there. And uh, he, we got a four-page special on him. Uh, coincidentally, Kagawa Shinji, last night Shinji Kagawa scored his 10th goal for the Japan national team. The youngest player ever to get 10 goals. Guess who was the last one? Kunishige Kamamoto! What a coincidence! Yes, Kagawa beat Kamamoto's record last night and uh, we might have a little postscript in the article as long as I can throw one in there. Mario in Germany wrote about the influence of schools and universities on Japanese football. It's very interesting. A good read. We have a quick look at the mascots of J1. It's been lined up for over a year from Tiago Bontempo, but uh, it's taken a while. Sorry, Tiago, but it is in J Soccer Magazine issue 5. And an interesting thing, Thai League and J League have joined up together. Vissel Kobe and Chonburi FC have done a little tie-up and they're going to do some stuff. Swap coaches, swap kids, maybe swap players, do a bit of loan stuff, and uh, basically grow together. So that should be quite fun. Uh, hopefully, we'll also have some ads to pay for the thing, but uh, nothing is good. So, so please, J Soccer Magazine issue four will be in the shops in Japan on June the fifteenth, nine hundred and eighty yen. Yes, in the shops, Lawson, Family Mart, Junkudo, all those good bookshops will now stock J Soccer Magazine issue four. Or you can get it from me at alan at jsoccer.com, A-L-A-N at jsoccer.com. Or go to the website, www.jsoccer.com, and look around and click on all the bits and uh, order your own magazine. You can also get the back issues, all three back issues still available at cost price of 600 yen each. Or you can have them all, special offer, 1,000 yen for all three of them, plus some postage. Or if you take the PDFs, 1,000 yen. For all three PDFs and no postage, A-L-A-N at jsoccer.com. Please buy the magazines, issue one, Endo and Usami on the front, and interviewed inside. Yes, Usami, who's now going to Offenheim in the Bundesliga. 
Kitajima of Casual Resol profile, some pictures of the fans. By the way, if you'd like your picture in J Soccer Magazine issue 5 or 6 or 7, please send me a picture of you at a game with a Japanese player. Something to do with Japan? Just send it along, we'll get it in there. Have a laugh. Have a laugh <laughs> at my predictions for J1 last year and see how they ended up. What else have we got? We've got a guide to English on the web. Please, uh, it'll be updated. Capital Punishment, FC Tokyo. They were in J2, now they're in J1. Well worth a look. Atsuta Uchida Special, There's some lovely little pictures there too. Uh, the charity game, Football Save Japan, a three-page special on that with lots of lovely pictures inside there. Um, what else have we got here? A little pixie dust. A look at the Nagoya Grand Passade. And also from Johnny Potter down in Ryukyu, down in Okinawa. A look at the FC Ryukyu below J2, but working on it. Yes, oh, and the back there, of course, Naoki Yamada of Urawa Reds. That was issue one. Issue two has Freddie Lundberg of S Pulse. Well, not of S Pulse anymore. And Tadanari Lee of Southampton on the cover there, in wonderful pose. And well, there's lots of stuff. We have a tribute to Naoki Matsuda, who died last year. And that was very nice. Uh, Kiyotake, well, I, I mentioned how good Kiyotake is and the fact that he's going overseas soon. He's going overseas? Yeah, Nuremberg. Uh, look at uh, Tokushima, the pride of Shikoku. Oh, all sorts of stuff. More, the J2. Have a look at J2 and a great picture of Ishikawa there, FC Tokyo, and the Japan fame. A man who got himself back into the national team. A look at the tactics of Samurai Blue from that man, Mr. Ben Mabley. Yeah, you know, tactics. No, really, it's true. And Hajime Maste. Well, I like the title anyway. I thought it was good. Hosogai interview and some pictures with Hosogai. Uh, a look at the, the Australians in, uh, yeah, Dan, and there's Mr. Alex Zabrosk. And, uh, well, just, just, what can I say? I don't want to bore you with the details. Just buy issue one, two, and three. And just to add a little bit of fun there, eh, in issue three, well, it was in Japan, some great pictures of Neymar and Messi and folks at the FIFA Club World Cup. And a rundown of Mr. Tsuneyasu Miyamoto, who retired. So have a quick look in pictures at his life and times in the J-League and the Japan national team. It's, well, uh, just, what, what, what can I say? How about this one? The downfall of Urawa Reds. They're back this year. Yes, Urawa Reds are back, but they had a bad couple of years. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, J Soccer Magazine. Issue 5, June the 15th, in the stores, or mail me at alan at jsoccer.com, A-L-A-N, at jsoccer.com, www.jsoccer.com. Make me an offer, you can't refuse. Go, J-League.